<laughs> what the hell? What do we have here? We got a Versus 1000 finally. About to take this bad boy home. Okay, I'm going to see if we can change the modes here. It's got gas in it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just changed the preload. And I can feel the suspension adjusting. Oh, that's so rad. Okay, road mode. There we go. Let's, uh, all right, we're in gear one. Let's do the thing. Yeah, the seats, I may need to upgrade over time. Actually, the firm seat might be a good thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> this is so cool like i said before it doesn't feel like it's a heavier bike i mean you can kind of feel it but it's its weight is not doesn't feel as high as the 650 did Quick shifter, <laughs> boom, boom. That's nice. I wish I could see how the cornering lights worked as you tip this thing over, but. <laughs> oh, this is fun. It's so smooth. I mean, there's no buzz. The inline four, just so smooth. Good little TFT dash and the analog uh, tachometer. That's pretty cool. I'm going to adjust the uh, shifter peg just a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's it's still nimble. Yeah, I mean, a little bigger than, than the 650, but I mean, it is no problem leaning this thing over. Yeah, I'm not saying much because I'm just enjoying the ride and just kind of getting used to this whole thing. I love it. Oh, they don't have the winky headlights either. Yes. So 
guess technically this is a um, Versus 1000 first ride. This is literally my first ride on this bike. This particular bike. I did ride the Versus 1000 at the demo day and <laughs> okay, there's, I might have chosen poorly. We'll see how we do sitting in traffic. You know, I didn't think I'd get a technically black motorcycle, but this is like, got the gray and the red and the black. Pretty badass looking. This is kind of unreal. I can't believe that this bike's mine now. Well, technically it belongs to the credit union. <laughs> Till I pay it off, but. <laughs> Quick shift. <laughs> So funny doing the pre-ride um, kind of overview the salesman going over the things on the bike which he even admitted he's like you probably know more about the bike than I do because I've been researching it and whatever um, you know he kind of apologized for not knowing as much about the bike you know being that he sells motorcycles and such but he just said they don't sell a lot of these and you know it's true you don't see a lot of these bikes out on the road uh, you know, a great bike, lots of features, good power, very reliable, all that. It's just, I think the size of it, it's its a tall bike. And for someone in my size, I need a tall bike, um, which I have mentioned before, it seems just like the bigger bikes, I fit better. And I can be on a, you know, bigger engine bike, but if it's still physically small, I, I don't enjoy it. I just feel cramped. Uh, like when I rode the Tracer 9 GT. Tracer 9 was a great bike. It was uh, top of my list until I rode this one. Um, just because it had the power and it had the bells and whistles, heated grips, cruise control, uh, things like that. But it felt small, like physically small. And, it, you know, at the time I think, you know, not a big deal. I can deal with it, but after being on something like this, you know, I just feel like this is kind of where I should be at. Kind of this, this is genre, this bigger bike type of thing. And sport touring, that's, that's kind of my jam. I mean, it'd be great if I could do adventure touring. Uh, I just don't think I'd find the time to get off road and, and all that jazz. I'd love to, but maybe someday. Maybe someday. Kind of enjoying this little sunset ride. Can feel the temperature dropping. Could test out the heat of grips. <laughs> but nah, I don't need them right now. We need to get Bucky's as a sponsor. Do another iron butt. Doing a Bucky's tour. Yeah, how about that? And they could sponsor the video and go to their store there, get you a snack, a drink, and some chaps and a horse saddle and be on your way. I don't know where I am. I don't come this way. I feel like I should go left. I would go left, but there's a cars are coming. I'll just wait. I'm okay. Oh, I wonder if this bike will be bigger to like set off the um, the red light sensors. Uh, I got I got time to go now, so. Blinkers have a good feel to it. 650 was a little bit mushy mush. Yeah, once again, I have no clue where I am. I'm just riding, I'm heading in the general direction of my home. Just gonna keep winding through till I find a road that I know. <laughs> oh, what road do we have here? Let's see what else we got here. 417 on the odometer. So this has 417 miles on it now. I've just put a few on here. 
There's the live lean angle, live MPGs. Overall average range. I need to pay attention. Go. <laughs> So yeah, Kawasaki has a Rideology app for your phone that you Bluetooth connect and you can adjust all the settings on there that you want to, like, I guess the suspension and, and all that jazz, which is pretty cool. Well, video is probably getting pretty dark and, and everything, so, um, yeah, I expect to see more of this bike around. <laughs> hey, love it. Oh, if it gets darker on my way home, I can check out how the cornering lights work. Old peach tree road. There's always peach tree roads. I don't know which one to take. Got me a full tank of gas in here too. Woohoo! I just adjust the suspension from passenger to passenger with luggage and I could just feel the suspension go and raise me up a bit. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. Can we go now please? Oh, the truck's going, we're going. I know where I am now. I can go home from here. I cannot wait to take this on a trip. I feel like I need to get some gear with red on it to match the bike. Oh, it's so good. This bike is so good. <laughs>